Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of comparing fractions. This is standard 3.3H in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 23 of the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have got two different fractions here. And in order for us to compare them, right, I'm going to go ahead and just open up my graph draw feature. And I'm going to make it a little bit more transparent so I can draw all over my uh, fraction. And so we need to find which of these comparisons is true. And so first, let's label these fractions, OK? So when we're dealing with fractions, Right? There's a top number and a bottom number. Uh, so the top number is the numerator. Right? And, so, and that top number always represents, that numerator represents uh, the number of pieces uh, that are selected or the number of pieces that we are talking about. In this particular problem, they're shaded. So the number of pieces that are shaded for this problem but the numerator kind of changes based on whether you're looking at something that's shaded or how many marbles are blue out of this jar. So it might not always be shaded, but it's the number of pieces you're talking about. And then your bottom number is your denominator. And the denominator is, that's always going to stay the same. That's just total. How many total pieces do we have? And so let's take a look at these two fractions here. So this one on the left, you see I've got one, I've got two pieces shaded. Okay, so I'm just going to label that as a two as my numerator. And then I've got, let me change colors here. I've got one, one, two, three, four pieces total. All right, so that's two fourths. So let's do the same thing over here on the right. I've got one piece total, or one piece shaded, excuse me. And then my denominator needs to be how many pieces total. We've got one, two, three, four. So you notice that they're both fourths. And I've got two fourths on the left. I've got one fourth on the right. Now. If we wanted to, we could compare these without pictures at all because they have the same denominator. And if you have the same denominator, it is kind of easy to uh, compare these. You can also compare them if they have the same numerator. That sometimes is a little bit trickier, but it's also possible. But take a look at this. I've got two-fourths and I've got one-fourth, right? If we wanted to, we could kind of just take this shading part and we can kind of bring it up here. Let's just bring it up here just so they're they're kind of next to each other. Obviously, if we're looking at which ones, they're not equal, so that doesn't make any sense. First off, those aren't even the right fractions. It says 2 fourths equals 3 fourths. This is not 3 fourths. This is 1 fourth. And secondly, 2 fourths does not equal 3 fourths. That's just silly. A is wrong. Now, here's my 2 fourths. Uh, there's my 1 fourth. And I, as you can see, you know, I've got more shaded on the left, right? So my opening is going to go over there. So I'm going to say two-fourths is greater than one-fourth. But I could do that without a picture because if I've got the exact same denominator, then all I'm doing is comparing my numerator and two is bigger than one. Two is always bigger than one. So that's what I see right here on B, right? So that looks good. And let's check our C and D. Once again, two fourths is bigger than three fourths. I don't know where they're getting this. First off, two fourths is not bigger than three fourths. It's less than. And I guess they're doing this three fourths because if you're counting the unshaded as the numerator, right? So this is your one, two, three. But you wouldn't count the unshaded as the numerator on one and then the shaded as a numerator on the other. Um, so I guess you can make the numerator on the left one two fourths, whether you're counting shaded or unshaded. There's two of each. But uh, that's just a wrong. One and then two fourths is not less than one fourth, it's greater than. So we're going to come back here, turn it off, and we will select our answer of B.